safe night. Battleground starts right now. Tonight on Battleground, we kick off this brand new show with a laser focus on the swing states, the people, places, and issues in the seven battleground states that will decide the 2024 election. Here's our map with all seven states highlighted, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, Michigan, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, where we are today. In total, they're home to 93 electoral votes and like elections passed, the states that will determine whether Joe Biden or Donald Trump gets a second term in the White House. And just how close was it in 2016 and 2020? Well, this close. And Hillary Clinton is a gracious loser as she concedes the race to Trump. Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. After sweeping nearly every swing state in the country. Official Joe Biden is the confirmed winner of Wisconsin. Fox News has projected that former Vice President Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States. Now, please accept my apologies if that gives any of you PTSD. But before we look ahead to this November, let's add some context to those dramatic moments. Up next, a closer look at what's driving voters in both Pennsylvania and Arizona. And later on, we check in with all seven swing states to see where this race stands according to some recent state polling. But first, here's what some voters in Milwaukee are saying about the race. We'll be right back. I think it may go the other way this time. Really? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Some Trump doing. He got a strong uh, supporting group behind him. Trump or Biden for you personally right now? I'm up in the air. One for Joe. I believe in the importance of it. I'm, I'm glad I voted. I believe with everything that's going on in the world that everyone has to, you know, make their voices be heard. And, you know, we can do science and everything, but get out there and vote. Finally, on this first edition of Battleground, we wanted to take a quick trip to our swing states and ask our reporters one question. What is the state of the race right now? This isn't a sports show, but we are covering a horse race, so here we go. First up, we head to Wisconsin and Fox 6 News Milwaukee political reporter Jason Calvey. Jason. As often. Thanks again, Jeff. So as you can see, many recent state polls favor Donald Trump, but some good news for the Biden team over the weekend. A new CBS poll shows the race tightening following Trump's hush money verdict. So buckle up. It's going to be a very interesting 147 days until Election Day. And as always, we will continue to cover this race from the point of view of our seven swing states, bringing you the people and places that will decide the 2024 election. I'm Essie Cup. See you next time on Battleground.